Iranian ancient village in the south of Khorasan province, known as Makhunik, has astonished many people who are fond of visiting a real dwarf city. Located about 100 kilometers east of Shahdad district in Kerman, Khorasan's neighboring province, the remains of the ancient city and the discovered structures evoke the image of Lilliput city described in Jonathan Swift's famous novel, Gulliver's Travels. According to archaeologists' reports, the ancient town of Makhunik was the land of Aratta civilization and dwarf humans are also said to have existed since 6000 BCE. There are around 700 people living here now. The village's houses still preserve the elements of Neolithic architecture. The building's color once served as camouflage, it was impossible to spot them from the mountains at a distance. Makhunik village has tiny homes with their strange architecture. If you duck through the narrow alleys of the village, you will see homes with very tiny walls and doors. One may wonder how on earth anyone could live in such tiny homes. Of the roughly 200 stone and clay houses that make up the ancient village, 70 or 80 are exceptionally low, ranging between 1.5 and 2 meters, with the ceilings of some as low as 1.4 meters. The homes have been erected on a hill in a cramped area lower than the earth level. With its floor about 1 meter into the earth, each home has a window as large as a human's palm. The door of each home is too small and an ordinary man can hardly duck through even after bowing down. Made of stone, wood and clay, the homes were roughly 10 to 14 square meters and consisted of the kandik a place for storing grain and wheat, a karshak a clay stove for cooking and a sleeping space. Interestingly enough, each home accommodated a man with two or three wives and three to eight children. Meanwhile, there was a small living quarter known as the sitting room for entertaining their guests. The tiny homes have contributed to this belief that a group of Lilliputians used to live here but the reality on the ground speaks differently. One of the main reasons behind the villagers' decision to erect the homes was protecting themselves against the cold weather. Firewood was scarce in the region and the residents had serious problems in warming their homes. That's why they had to construct homes as small as possible so that they could warm it up with their rare firewood. On the other hand, they made very small windows to prevent the cold weather from entering the homes. The tiny windows also allowed the daylight into the homes. Most of the doors were located on the house's southern side to let in more light and protect the home's single room from strong winds. Today, the residents of Makhunik have abandoned their ancient homes beginning to construct contemporary homes for living. The elderly people still prefer old-fashioned kerosene lamps and fireplaces to electricity. There are also no television anywhere, as the villagers believe that they are from the devil. The village has one school. In the evenings, the young people study theology at a local mosque. Despite its size and location, there is no rush to leave and the small population seems to genuinely love their home and is happy to remain there. In 2005, a mummified body measuring 25 centimeters in length was found in the region. The discovery fueled the belief that this remote corner of Iran, which consists of 13 villages, including Makhunik, was once home to an ancient city of dwarfs. Although experts have determined that the mummy was actually a premature baby who died roughly 400 years ago, they contend that previous generations of Makhunik residents were indeed shorter than usual. The research at the area revealed that even in some years ago, the height of people in Makhunik seldom reached at 150 cm but now they have about normal size. Malnutrition significantly contributed to Makhunik residents' height deficiency. Raising animals was difficult in this dry, desolate region, and turnips, grain, barley and a date-like fruit called jujube constituted the only farming. Makhunik residents subsisted on simple vegetarian dishes such as kashabbene made from whey and a type of pistachio that is grown in the mountains, and poktik which is a mixture of dried whey and turnip. Meanwhile, the oldest metal flag in human history was also unearthed in this ancient city. Please like and subscribe our channel for more interesting videos.